I think I'm live. We'll see. Okay, here. I think I'm live. And I'm going to see if I can put... Um, I'm going to see if I can do this, I swear. Okay, I've got that switch. Hello, everybody, for jumping on here. Just give me a, some hearts. Um, I'm trying to... Um, Which I'll, I still, y'all, you would think that once I do this thing, I would have it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Let's see here. Let me see. Let me get my, while well, I'm trying to do this, we're going to get my, this is so funny. I can never get, I can never get the software to, I can never figure it out. I have to play with it a while, so forgive me if it's, <sighs> yeah, let's see. I'm supposed to do picture in picture, so let's see if I can switch it. <gasps> there we are. Let's see if we can switch it now. <laughs> I still can't. Gosh. <laughs> okay. I got it right. I just got to get it over there. Okay. Oh, good heavens. This is going to get on my nerves. I'm sorry. Yeah. Draw me some hearts if you're watching. Hello, Darlene. If you... <sighs> okay. Now, let's try again. Um. No. Good heavens. No, I don't want to do that. <laughs> there, I want to do that, but I've got to. <gasps> oh, I got it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I got it. Yes, do my happy dance. Okay, so you should be able to see um, my project here. My project here. And it looks a little slow mo for me but anyway but this is I'm gonna do some chalking tonight this is a Dollar Tree pumpkin that I picked up it had some designs on it um so you guys probably can't see that because I chalked I chalk painted it with uh Waverly um matte white chalk paint just pick it up at Walmart Hello, everybody. Hello, Regina. How are you? Hey, Christy. Um, let's see who else. If, you, if you're on here with me, drop me some hearts. Okay, so I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with this, but I think I know now what I'm going to do with it. So let me grab. Um, these I also got from Walmart. They're um, stencil brushes. But um, they're Waverly stencil brushes. But um, I just figured that they would work well with um, something that I want to do with this. So I'm going to take the, uh, I'm going to chalk on this and um, I'll show you what I want to do with it. Um, but let's get, uh, hello Shannon, how are you? Let's get my, uh, this is Storm, so I want to use Storm on it, but, uh, and y'all, um, I've got this idea in my head, but I'm not quite sure, oh, good heavens, did y'all see that? Did y'all see that? <laughs> it barely missed. <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> There's a big gloop right here. Oh, that's hilarious. Now I got another gloop. Oh, my gosh, so messy. Y'all look at that. Oh, that's hilarious. Anyway, anyway, let's get this. I could probably, <laughs> could probably get some of that salvage. I was gonna spray this with some of my. What I'm doing is this is our um, spray bottle, but I'm gonna spray it with. Um, I want it just a little more thin than that. I don't want to, so I'm just stirring it up. Hello, Jamie. 
Hello, Victoria. How are you? So I'm stirring it up. I put the uh, distilled water in in the uh, chalk paste. It looked a little clumpy. So I'm going to stir it up, and as uh, I'm going to let it sit for just a second, as I clean my mess up, <laughs> made a huge one. Oh my gosh, it's hilarious. Okay, so what I was telling everybody, hello, Miss Regina. Um, what I was telling everybody, uh, if you didn't catch me just a moment ago, this is a Dollar Tree find. It was just a, um, let me get a baby wipe and get this mess cleaned up that I made. It was a Dollar Tree and it had, it looked like it had like a chalkboard type, uh, thing there and, um, on it, but it really wasn't. It was more like, it looked like it had a few stickers or whatever on it and I'm just wiping my paste jar off and probably go send okay I'm about to make a huge mess it's about to get really hilarious and up in here okay so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take this small stencil brush that I have I'm gonna dip it in a little bit of water and let's see get some of that water off I'm gonna get some of this mess that I created off before I clean it off because I want to use some of that so I've got an idea of what I want to do and I'm not even sure that this chalk this chalk paste will do this but that's why I'm kind of watering it down a little bit hello miss Belinda how are you um drop me some hearts if you guys are on and watching Facebook lot let me tell you why Facebook lots hearts they don't like the thumbs up anymore so they give a preferential treatment to hearts. Um, so yeah, that's why. But anyway, hello Miss Lori. I am, I mixed a little bit of water with that just to get it mixed up. I'm gonna get a paper towel. So this is the dollar store sign that I got and I painted it with white chalk paint, just Waverly white chalk paint. I'm gonna grab a paper towel to, um, wipe this off because this is my idea for this for this pumpkin um, I just really want to dry brush I really want to go around the edges and kind of I want it to not be perfect that's for sure which fits you know I'm sorry but that, <laughs> that fits me perfect <laughs> Because it's not going to be perfect, you know. It is just not going to be perfect. So, and I don't, um, I mean, I like the um, white signs, the pristine white, you know, but that's not the look that I'm going for here. So, if it gets on the white, I'm fine. And I'm not really... My idea is not really to coat this side to the sides too much. I mean, you know, like make them perfectly um, gray. That's not the idea. My idea is just to have like a. See, look, you can tell. Look, the um, the board. I guess I could have peeled that. I don't know if y'all can see that. There's like a little lip there, but anyway. So, this brush, okay, that's not exactly what I wanted. So, what I'm going to do is just sort of, the brush is pretty dry now. And a little too dry. Okay, if I bear down a little more, it gets a little more out there. And I'm losing some bristles. <laughs> it's not the best brush in the world. But it will get what we want done. So I'm going to make it a little heavier on the edges. It's really what I want. So I'm just going to go around and do... This is, I mean, this is what I got in my mind. I don't know if it's going to work. I may just say, nope, not working. Let's paint it again. <laughs> I'm not sure I may. The bristles are falling out of this brush. Nice. 
I know it's a stencil brush, so you're supposed to pounce with it. Not what I'm looking for. Not what I'm looking for. Okay. Now I'm just going to twist it around. And I just really want the, I just, you know, kind of distressed look. I'm about to break into my some of my Stampin' Up! daubers to do this. This is starting to get on my nerves. I can do like a sponge dauber much easier than I can do a brush sometimes. So, just gonna lightly go over it. And actually what's happening is I don't know if you guys can see, maybe you can. It is actually picking up on some of, there's, uh, there was the stickers here or uh, something like that and they were kind of raised. So it's actually picking up on that, which is not exactly what I wanted, but I'm not really that um, opposed to it. Maybe not. So anyway, oh, you guys cannot see that, can you? So... Do me some starts and stops. Okay, now I'm about where I like it. So I'm gonna go back around some of this. And this is with the storm paste that I actually spilled on my, on my craft sheet. Cause I want a little bit more on the edges. Just build those edges up a little more. If you guys can see it, if I'm not holding it, in place y'all let me know hello Brenda hello Miss Bobby hello Kim give me some hearts when you guys jump on here and I'm not sure what that is but that is okay and I'm just gonna take the brush because I don't really want to go up and down this way I kind of just want the, all the side to side look but I kind of just want to frame the pumpkin Make it a little distressed on the edges and just flicking my brush on it. And this is a stencil brush if y'all didn't catch that. I'm just gonna all right. I'm thinking I'm just really I think that's about where I want it. So do you guys see it? That's about where I want it. Okay, now I'm just gonna put this in the water to get to get it wet so that it's not, and then I'm gonna break out my, <clears throat> all right, put my baby wipes up, but I'll need them, I have to have them close. Then I'm gonna stir my um, paste again the waters that I've got in it. You want it kind of like a um, yogurt, thick but not too thick. So, hello Miss April. This is so relaxing. Lydia, this is so relaxing. <laughs> this is my therapy. I'm telling you, this is my therapy. Okay, so let's get this, especially, we had a soccer match tonight, so, oh my gosh, these um, four-year-olds, I love them to death. They're a lot herding cats, especially my daughter is like herding cats. So, I want to um, come home and do something productive <laughs> where the stuff does what I tell it to do. It's like, oh my gosh. She's a mess, but um, but anyway, so it, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. Okay, so this is, have y'all seen the signs that say, and I have not been able to find any sign that says, Hello Pumpkin. Have y'all seen those signs? Well, I want a sign that says, Hello Pumpkin. And actually, I'm kind of thinking that uh, from the, um, the movie, uh, gosh, Pirates of the Caribbean. 
where it says, hello, puppet. You know, that's what it makes me remind, it reminds me of, but it's probably not where that comes from. But anyway, so I want to do Hello Pumpkin. So this is Hello, and I think that my camera is actually too high up. Now that I'm looking at it, I let me see if I can actually lower it so you guys can see a little better. Because it seems to be a little, you may, you may feel a dropping sensation. <laughs> And there you go. Okay, hang on. Let me get it tightened back up. Y'all will jiggle. I am so sorry for jiggling you. Let's see if I can get it tightened. Oh, snap. I don't think it's going to tighten anymore. Okay. So there, I think y'all can see it better now. What do you think? Is that better? Maybe we'll move it over just a little. Okay. So what I wanted to say is Hello Pumpkin. And I had an idea, but this other pumpkin that I've got, the whole word, just it's curved. So I really, I mean, I could do, what do y'all think? Oh, God, yes, I love doing cra crafting is my, that's huge. Oh, you know what? I dropped my camera, but I also dropped my iPad a little, <laughs> so it was cutting my head off. That's hilarious. That's funny. But anyway, so so what do you think? This pumpkin, let's see if it's, but it's, it's kind of curved, so it's kind of weird. But, uh, and then the hello. But I've got another option, so let me show you that. That's with my vintage truck that I'm going to do. I'm hoping to do it tomorrow night. I'm going to do a vintage truck sign. I'm hoping to do it tomorrow night. Okay, so these are the, uh, what font are these? I cannot remember to save my life. They are the brush font. Okay, so this is the brush font. So what I have to do is find, I have to spell pumpkin, which is probably gonna be hard for me. That is a U, I hope. It doesn't say it on the back, but I think it's a U. That is an N. Pumpkin. Okay. <laughs> so, pumpkin. I need an I. <laughs> and this is the P, but it's lowercase. I don't want it. That's an M, and it's a... There's my I. Pumpkin. Y'all help me out here. Hello, Poppet. That's right. Is a British term of endearment. all. So it's kind of hello, darling. Well, I think this is the season, Lydia, for us to say hello, pumpkin. So that's a term of endearment too, right? Um, let's see. Why the capital U pumpkin? We're almost there. We're getting there. The A, the C, the F, K, but that's the uppercase. I think that's the uppercase U. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need any of those. Um, none of those. None of those. Come on, I'm going to get it in just a minute. I will get it all. None of that. <sighs> none of you. Okay. Hello. Q, S. There's the P. Or is that a B? <laughs> or a D? It looks, it looks like a D. It looks like a lower case D, but I'm going to leave it right here for right now. Uh, I don't need the E. That's a B, so I know that what that one is. The K, that's the lower case K, so I need that one. Uh, oh, thank you. Oh, I love crafting. It reminds me of when I was a little girl, My the book that I had that, oh my gosh, that I just absolutely adored. Um, had all kind of crafting stuff in it. Or exclamation point. I know that. I tried to make that an I one day. <laughs> uh, T, where is my, y'all seriously? That, that can't be the uppercase P. That wouldn't be a P. Have I lost it? Okay, did I just not see it? What do y'all think? Huh, hello, Tammy. C-R-A-M. That's, 
I guess I could just do all lowercase. I mean, the hello is all lowercase. Let's just do all lowercase. Jeez, I don't know what I did with my... Okay, let's make sure. P-U-M-K-I-N. That's how you spell pumpkin, right? Somebody help me. No, okay, I need that other P in between there. Okay, that's right, Lydia. <laughs> Thank you for typing that, Lydia. Hello, Carla. Hello, uh, Lindsay. Okay, so that's what I'm going to do. So y'all do not let me forget that P, okay? I know that I am actually doing this a few seconds before y'all are seeing it or hearing it, but please don't let me forget that P. P-U-M-P-K-I-N. Okay, oh, and this is going to fit because these letters go together like this. Uh, like this, but I'm not going to do because I have not. Oh, let me wax right quick. Look, I was about to say, I have not waxed, so, and y'all know that I lost my waxing rag, my, um, but then I got me another one, just an old t-shirt, so, um, so I've been waxing it up, and so what I'm going to do, hello, Miss Carol, I'm just going to take, um, the wax, this is clear. This is my Annie Sloan soft wax, and it's uh, basically for painted furniture and walls. But I'm just gonna rub it over after I did the um, white chalk paint on the sign, and then uh, hopefully I'm not shaking you guys. But basically, you if you don't do this, it's not that big of a deal. I don't think, but I just don't want to pull my uh, leave space for the second P I know, right? Um, so, there, that looks, I'm looking at it to see the sheen. It's a matte, it's not really a shiny finish, but it does still leave a sheen. So, anyway, oh my god, y'all, I can't, whoo, whoo, that is just crazy. Okay. So, I'm thinking of doing the hello here, and then the pumpkin, let's see, let's see where I'm going to see, that there needs to be the P in between here, uh, and N, so I want that to be like here, but not dead center. Okay, and I'm going to do it in this storm gray that I've got right here. Okay, so let's do, hello, I haven't, well, some of these I haven't done, I haven't used yet. And so what we do with our, <laughs> thank you, Shannon. I like me some Netflix. I've been enjoying Prime uh, and, well, and Netflix. What I like about both of those is that they uh, have foreign movies and um, cartoons and stuff. So I just fuzz this so that it won't be too, too tacky, because it's, it's pretty tacky, if you guys can hear that. Um, I just don't need it to be too, too tacky. And so I think I want this about here, and I'm just gonna rub where the hello is. And I'm gonna take my little squidgy, but I like Netflix and, uh, hello, Tamara. I like Netflix and um, Amazon Prime, and not Hulu as much. I just don't like their uh, app that well. I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna load up the ink, or the, not the ink. This isn't ink. We're not working on ink. Um, the paste, the chalk paste. I'm just gonna put it down, and then I'm gonna peel it up. There's Hello. Ugh, I love that one. Okay. I'm gonna dry this a little bit. Let me plug up my thing. But anyway, I like the foreign movies. I like the, um, the it's just so neat to uh, watch different takes on different things. Like, um, I never knew there was that many Beauty and the Beast um, movies made. But I guess every country kind of did their own Beauty and the Beast. So it's been kind of neat to um, to watch the different ones. So, and um, 
Gosh, I can't remember. There was an old Cinderella movie also from uh, the 70s. Was it the 70s or the 80s? I can't remember. But um, that one I haven't watched yet, but I, I eyeballed it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize that they made an old, like a regular movie Cinderella. So, hello, Teresa. So, anyway, but I like to watch the different shows on Netflix and... Um, and um, um, Amazon, Amazon Prime. So let's see if this is dry. You know that this is dry because it, um, well, number one, it's dry to, to the touch, <laughs> but uh, it's matte. It's matte, it's no longer shiny. Okay, so now we're going to, let's see, is it one, two, three, four? So the P would be the middle. So I'm going to take the P and I'm gonna place it first. I'm gonna do it first and then build from there. Because it looks like it's the it's the P U M P K I N. So yes, there would be the middle. Hello, Jeff. Um, hello Teresa. If I haven't already said hello. So yes, there that would be three letters on each side of the P. Um, so we're going to find the center and do it first and like the hello transfer I did not I haven't used this one yet so I am gonna fuzz it a little bit if I didn't fuzz it it might pull up some of my chalk paint here so it only really takes one or two times I'm gonna fuzz it one more time Okay, let's find my center. I think I will do it about... Like I said, I don't really want it in the center this way as much as... <sighs> this is my issue with finding center. I need to find my center. <laughs> I'm not going to do the half moon shapes. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do in just a second. I'm going to do, hello, Miss Rosie. How are you? So I'm going to go ahead and have faith and just put it down, right? It is a dollar store. I paid a dollar for this thing. It's a dollar store sign that I just painted. There's the P. We're down. Uh, we're going to wait before we do this one. And I'm going to go ahead and let me wash. Let me just get a, um, I don't know if you guys can see this. Oh, that's awfully wet. Hang on. I'm going to move that out of my way off to the side. I'm going to take a Clorox wipe and just clean off this pee because I'm going to need it again and I'm going to let it be dry on. all you do is just really you're not you will not take the tack off with that okay so I'm going to set it to the side upside down here and let it be dry on for me so I can move that way all right now I've got to dry this pee oh I dripped what you knew I would Messy, 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 messy. I dripped some of that Clorox wipe on it. I'm telling you, it was like damp. And I've even left those open all night before, so. So there's my pee. Looks pretty dry. There's a little spot. It looks like I dripped the Clorox wipe on that. Then I'm gonna let it come back to temperature before we do the, uh, so it has to be UMP and then the KIN. Okay. And we're gonna work backwards. We're gonna work front ways that way and then we're gonna work backwards that way. So I could probably do two at one time. The M, y'all, if I misspell this, <laughs> 
I'm the new Bob Ross. <laughs> no. I love, I'm going to tell you a secret. I used to love to watch him when I was little. <laughs> I did. I mean, you know, that was one of the, that was one of my favorite shows. <laughs> the Happy Tree. And I still do. Um, if you ever look up any of um, Cinnamon, I think her name is Cinnamon Cooney. She's the art sharper on uh, YouTube. She's awesome. I love to just sit and watch her paint. Um, there's an Angela, something else that I do. I love to sit and watch them paint. I just do. Wishing I could do it. But I love to... Um, Okay, so I know that the P is supposed to be down, right? So if I, I am going to dry this off a little bit so I can ensure that I'm getting this kind of close to where it needs to be. I'm just going to put it down here. And so the K would really need to go about here. Come on, Kay. Where are you at? I'm just trying to, what you guys can't see and what I can barely see is the, okay, it needs to come over this way a little more. And I don't want to stretch it. But what you couldn't see is, what I could see is the completion of that circle between that one and that one. So, we're going to put that back over there, and that thing's still just as tacky as ever. So, now I know my, num my letters are correct. Pumpkin. <laughs> Doing this backward is not good. <laughs> I'm going to misspell pumpkin. I promise you that. Not good. Okay. That's the K. That's the K. Since I don't have to do K again, I'm throwing it in the, the um, water bath. Oh, you know what I did not do? I didn't write. This was the K. This was the K. And this was the P. And I'm writing it on the back so that I can put it back on the carrier sheet because they're reusable. I'm going to let that dry. I wrote one. My I, I can't find my sharpie. Samantha ran off with my sharpie. Oh, there's one sharpie. Okay, so I've got the K, and now I need to do. Let's do the W. So I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the P back down, uh, just slightly, not so it's like totally sticking. But you know, now that I look at it, I had that P all wonky. <laughs> I did. Y'all look, it's kind of wonky. Okay, let's fuzz this, because I haven't used the M. I can tell. But, like I said, this is not perfect. I don't want it. Lucky for me, I like imperfection. <laughs> Seriously. I just don't feel like that's close enough. I feel like the M needs to be... It's the height that I'm really worried about, not necessarily the... Um, And then we'll do the, I'm still worried about whether or not I get the P. What the what? Look at that. Look at my K. I should have dried it. Look. I'm going to have to redo it. But that's okay. I can redo it. I'm going to pull that off because if I put it down again, it's going to have a K ghosted somewhere on my. Okie dokie. Okay, I got that off. That will be ghosted there. Look, I'm going to have to reapply my K. But anyway, we can do the I and then the N. It's just not centered. Ah, Okay. I'm going to bump the um, M in a little more. I know it's probably going to look scrunched. Oh, what's that? There is something, okay, that's just wood. I thought I had like a lump or something under there. 
But anyway, so I'm going to do the M. Just by laying the, um, that felt like that moved. Laying the chalk down, or the chalk paste. And then pulling it up. With my um, squeegee. So there's the M. And I don't need it again, so I'm going to put it in the water bath. Now I'm going to dry these, and I'm probably going to redo that K when you're not looking. Although, I seriously, I kind of like that K the way it's distressed. Just saying. Mm -hmm. Just saying. I kind of like it. And I'm going to bump these letters over, but I'm probably going to extend that, and it's probably going to look maybe a little wonky. Who knows? Let's get those dry. I think the, um, okay, so that was the M, and I'm going to write M on the back of this. Okay. And then toss it to the side. So this, this is dry. So I'm going to do the I. Now the I... I've worked with before. So, I'm just going to make sure that the lower part of the I kind of matches the K, the lower part of the K. Hopefully, my head is not getting into, let's see, there we go. Then I'm going to rub it down just to make sure it's got some good Tack down. Keep the K. I like the K. I do. I kind of need to distress the rest of them. I may actually sand over the rest of them to try and get them to look the same. Oh, come on. I can't get up under this. There's the I. And now we're going to do the U. Right? P M K P U M P. K-I-N. Lydia, without you, I would have misspelled it. <laughs> Hello, Cynthia. I'm about to, I've got all my Christmas, some of my Christmas stuff in. I'm about to just start on some Christmas stuff. I'm so very excited. So, with the U, I'm going to get it kind of very close to that M, but swanky. Hmm. I'm just wonky tonight. Okay, put you back down. What I, I'm probably not going to see where it's overlapping the M right there. I won't put paste there probably. I'll just go right up to it. But I'm wanting to see, I think it can come down some. I want it to match the top of the M, which I can see it's ghosted, but you guys can see that. Top of the M and then the bottom there. Okay, I think that's good. What I may do is if I'm too far over this way, I'll put a bow here and you just, you won't see it. Or an exclamation point. An exclamation point fixes everything. <laughs> fixes everything. <laughs> I could do that. I certainly could. Okay. Let's see. I'm just putting my excess chalk back. And I don't want that line there. So this is really just a silk screen. Reusable. So there's the U. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it. I like it when I look at the um, the uh, screen better than I like it looking in person. <laughs> yes, I messed up the I. Okay, so that's the I. So now we'll do the, or no, that was the U, wasn't it? Jeez. 
got to keep myself straight. I can't do that right now. Where was the eye? Oh, see, there was the eye. I had used it before. I got that back wet. Okay. Put it to the side. So this, I'm going to go ahead and draw the eye. And, and see, this is going to go on the front. So I'll probably on my front porch. Um, just another sign to go on my front porch. And I'm doing what I want to do tomorrow night. Hopefully tomorrow night, if not Wednesday night. Because we've got another soccer game tomorrow night. So what I want to do tomorrow night is a vintage truck and the pumpkin patch and a sign to hang out. And that, and that will be my last, that will be my last um, fall harvest type thing. Uh, almost everything that I've done is um, basically can last until um, hmm, Thanksgiving. So, oh, that was, I had that, I got that in that Clorox too, and it's very damp. So that's the end. Yeah, that's my hello. Yeah, that Clorox, that Clorox white was messy. So, yeah, we will um, have plenty of signs to last. Yeah, I may need the um, the exclamation point. <laughs> now with this one, I want to line it up with the bottom of the eye. So I'm having to turn it up here so I can eyeball it. That looks about right. See, yeah, I'm going to be closer over here than I am here, so I may do the exclamation point. We'll see where the P comes to. Just rub that down. Make sure it's good and adhered. Hello, Jennifer. You guys, give me some hearts. Facebook likes hearts. If you give me hearts, then it's like, hey, people like her. <laughs> All right. And there's the end. Yes, we are definitely going to need the exclamation point. And I think it'll be fun. So now we get to do the last P. Yes, I'm going to need the exclamation point. And this one always, I want to line it up with, let me see if I've got a ruler. I have a ruler. I want to line it up with that without touching the in hopefully my head's not it can go up just a tad bit I think there we go now I think that's about it let me look hmm I think that's good, but I'm just gonna bring it just over just a little. Yep, exclamation point is gonna be there. <laughs> that fixes everything. That fixes everything. And I'm just going to do it where it meets the U. Now, what I'm hoping is that I've spelled it correctly. <laughs> and there we go. There you have it. And I'm going to put that in there. And then I'm going to draw this and I'm going to get my exclamation point out. <laughs> and Linnea, I think I'm going to redo my K. <laughs> I think I'll redo it. I think. I'll bring it back out of the water and redo it. We'll see. But I'm definitely going to get the exclamation point. Okay, so while that dries and cools back down, I'm going to bring out my letters again and find the exclamation point here. Let's see. Thank God 
for exclamation points. I did this to Samantha's Rebel t-shirt. See, I've got a period, a comma, and the quotation marks. Um, so I did this to Samantha's Rebel, Harrelson County Rebel shirt that I made her. There it is. And look, I was trying to do it like that. But I want to do it like that. So, <laughs> I had it off centered. I had I swear that I lined center things up and it I just can't find my center. I just really can't. <laughs> so there. And now I'm gonna bring the K back out and get it cleaned up. Oh it's nice and clean. Look at that. Get it cleaned up. And um I'll redo it. I laid the uh, another stent or another um, <clears throat> carrier sheet or some oh or another transfer on top of that. Why am I loading this up yet? I haven't even got this one stuck down. But anyway, so Samantha's Harrelson County um, shirt uh, uh, messed up and didn't get it centered either. So yeah, it um, it got an exclamation point at the end of Rebels. <laughs> Because it said HC, and that was centered. Now, that was centered on the shirt because it's only two letters. So, you know, you just, when it's only two letters, you can't go wrong with that, right? There's a center to the shirt, then there's an H on one side, and there's a there's a C on the other. I keep messing my hair up. You can't mess that up. But when I went to do the Rebels, even with the S, it was just completely messed up. There! It's still. It's still. <laughs> oh, well. We will get it. We will get it. I'm just drawing my K off so I can redo it. Hello, Jill. Hello, Elise. Hello, Sue. If I hadn't already told you guys, hey. I hope everybody's having a good night. It's so, so cool and nice and... I don't think my air ran all day, and that's just very exciting because then, you know, I don't, I don't have, I, I have the confidence in knowing that my power bill is going to go down. <laughs> Yay. Oh, and I'll be darned if I didn't touch that exclamation point. Ah. So. If I'm not careful, I'm going to be redoing all of them. I am so messy when it comes to it. I love the way this turned out, but since it'll probably be more work than it's worth to make the other letters look like this, I'm going to go ahead and redo this one. And hopefully, it's not going to be shadowed. It's, I'm going to readjust it. All right, K. Give me just a little bit of that. Looks pretty good. I'm gonna move it just a little. Okay, I think that's gonna be good. You can see where I've got it lined up, and I'm just gonna do this part of it. Load it up and wipe it off. And you don't have to bear down at all. Hardly any. Perfect. There we go. Yay! Y'all look. Hello, Miss Judy. How are you? Hey, Jill. I know I've, I'm sorry. I already told you. Hey, didn't I, Jill? Look, there it is. Hello, pumpkin. And see, I just want it to be, I really didn't want, like, a pumpkin on it. I didn't want, I mean, because it is a pumpkin, right? So, I was going to add, and I don't know, see, so it's got holes to hang it, and I have jute string somewhere I'm going to tie in there. But I also wanted, so I have this that I'm going to put in there to get in it to hang it up, but I also wanted... Um, I also wanted 
somehow, because this seems to be my theme this year, I may do a bow here around this. I may. I don't know. Or maybe just tie a bow and glue it there. I don't know. Let's see what that looks like. Y'all help me out. Thank you, Cynthia. Do my bunny ear bow tie. This is just some buffalo check ribbon that I got from Hobby Lobby. I love somebody. Let's see. Um, Tiffany showed a, there's a meme running around about Hobby Lobby about I want to go to Hobby Lobby and they're like, no, you can't go. And it's like, but they're having a sale. They're always having a sale. So, yes, I got this at Hobby Lobby. One of my weak moments, <laughs> Hobby Lobby's like, okay, <laughs> I can't figure out how to, how to cut this one. I'm, I'm going, okay, we're going to simplify it. I'm having a moment with my bow. Thank you for the hearts. I love them. But, um, <laughs> I'm so having a moment with my bow, guys. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do the, like, the dovetailed ends. I'm going to fold it in half and then cut it back toward the bow. And that one's not lining up. Okay, sorry. You guys didn't see that, did you? Thank goodness, because it wasn't lining up very well. <sighs> it's probably going to be better to do it this way. Okay, so you cut it in half, and then you cut it from the inside, and you dovetail it. So, I'm going to do the same on this side. And I'm taking it from the fold because the ribbon wants to shift on me. So I'm cutting it from the fold end and then doing it like that. So maybe um, that, maybe here, across from the, what do y'all think? What's your thoughts? Let me know. And basically, I'm going to put this back through there. I may have to get one of my big needles and get it in there because this one's thicker than the rope they had on it. I may end up using something else. But anyway, so that's it. I'm going to hot glue the, um, yeah, no, I'm going to have to guide that in. But anyway, I'm going to hot glue this on it and then I'm going to hang it. So what do you guys think? Y'all like it? I hope you like it. I loved it. I really wasn't sure. I knew I wanted the Hello Pumpkin. But I uh, really wasn't sure what what I was going to do exactly. But I kind of wanted it and didn't know what I was going to put it on. But anyway, that's my Dollar Tree sign. Yay! I love it. That only cost me a dollar and then, of course, the paste and stuff. And Yes, I love it. But anyway, thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. and <sighs> It being part of my therapy. <laughs> so anyway... You guys have a good day, and I hope y'all have a, well, no, a good night, right? Mm-hmm. A good night. Sleep well. Sweet dreams. <laughs>